So that's why I think we should sell our man back to the Republic of Ireland. I see. Well, Pastor Ed, I think you'll be a very interesting political candidate. I'm very excited to break free from the shackles of clerical life and serve God in a new way as I embark on my career as a Northern Irish politician. Really bring some religion back to the political landscape. That'll be a fresh change. So am I the best uh, politician you've ever interviewed then? This is actually my first interview. Oh, I suppose it must be difficult. Are you racist about? No, like this is actually my first day. Oh, uh, fair enough. Why, are there any racists about? Um, uh, yeah. I think there could be a few, you know. Uh, people, Northern Irish people, sometimes say the odd thing. And you know what people are. Um, and what do you think about black people? What do I think about black people? Yeah. What do you think about black people? Um, I think they're fine. You think they're fine? I think they are cool. You think they're cool? I think they're grand. You think they're grand? Well, Pastor Ed, it's been great interviewing you. Yes, you too. I mean, uh, being great being interviewed by you, specifically. I'm gonna head off. Okay, I'm heading off. Oh, Ed, what color did you want for the campaign poster? There's red, orange, yellow, green. Ah, whatever you want, Dennis. I like all of them. Hello there, Pastor. Ah. Hello, Callum. Out in the void. <laughs> yes, yes. Same as yourself. Good, good. Yeah. I hear you're not a racist now, Pastor. What? What made you lose commitment to that kind of thing? H who says I'm not racist? Thanks sure everyone's been saying it, Pastor. Sure, suppose we'll all not be racist now. What's the official line the Orange Order's taking on this? No, no. Th you see, me and my friends like a pint on a Friday night. But what we like better than a pint on a Friday night is going down to the end of the street and hurling Northern Irish insults at the Chinese. So I don't think I can commit to that, Pastor. I'm really sorry about that. Good for you, Pastor. What? Oh, oh Mrs. Godfrey. Good for you, Pastor. Finally someone took a stand against racism. Them coming over here receiving racial abuse and immigration laws. Constant harassment from the locals. Good for you. Good for you. Back in. Back in politicians. It's not politicians. It's the Orange Order he's after. I'm not after the Orange Order. I am not not a racist. Okay. Go off. So how's things, Mary? How's the wife? Oh, she actually died in a car crash the other week. Oh, great. But, you know, I've got a new bird on the go. You know how it is. Look at this, Dennis. New interview with Pastor Ed, Union's political candidate, shows him to be the new face of left-wing, progressive orange politics. He is quoted as saying, Black people are grand. I am. what's wrong with that, then, Ed? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? If people think I'm a liberal, it will ruin my chances of winning the May elections. That's what? What? Oh, no, come on, Ed. I don't think that's very likely. The only way that would happen is if Northern Irish people were so small-minded that they'd actually choose a candidate based on bigoted ideals rather than actual political policy. And that what I'm saying it, Ed, I think actually, yeah, that could hurt your chances quite a bit. I don't understand. I thought that journalist was sound. Why would he publish such a slanderous article about me? Ed, who's that fella out there with the big wooden stick? Oh, fuck's sake. It's Liam Neeson again. Mm. Liam! 
There's no black people here, Name. Go home. Go home. I won't tell you again. I will find you. I will kill you. I saw you earlier. You're shouting there. You got his two year old gift. Fucking fruit. This is getting ridiculous. I'm just gonna have to make some kind of public address to explain this is all just one big misunderstanding. Welcome back to the Coffee With Us podcast with your boy Union Jack and Big Ben. He is a degree. We're here with Pastor Ed. Pastor Ed, there's an article going around right now claiming that you're not racist. What's all that about? Well, the first thing I want to say is um, that article is just completely untrue. You know, I I have nothing against racists. I mean, some of my best friends are from Balamina. That's a pretty strong argument. I won't lie to you. But uh, do you care to explain these tweets from four years ago? It's a good film. My Michael B. Jordan was extremely compelling. <laughs> and what about uh, these photos right here? Oh, co come on, that's obviously Photoshop. I don't know. There's a lot of strong evidence against you here. And I'll tell you one thing for free. There's one thing that I cannot stand on planet Earth. And that's fibbers. And you look to me right in the eyes like a dirty fibber. And you walk in here and you look Big Ben in the eyes and you tell him dirty fibs. You don't even want to know what happens to people like you down the dark streets of Balamina and Belfast. If Big Ben ever found you, the tears that your parents would cry over your casket would flood the ocean. Get out! Now, before something terrible happens to you. And that brings us to our sponsor, Ball Trimmers 9000. Come in. Hi. It's, uh, it's me again. Pastor Ed, what can I do you for? Uh, I need you to take down the article about me. It's giving me really, really bad press. Oh, was it the part where you wanted to turn Nuri into an independent state? Reclaim British colonies, bring back gerrymandering? Uh, it was actually the part where you made me out to be a uh, ultra left wing anti racist liberal. What? When did I do that? Well, you quoted me saying, black people are grand. That's the bar. See, the thing is that in Northern Ireland, you kind of have to be a little bit racist to get elected. So this is really hurting my campaign. I'll be honest with you, Pastor Ed. The article's already out there. Taking it down's not going to do anything. The damage has already been done. I was afraid you might say that. Sorry for wasting your time, Aaron. Wait. What is it? What if I was to read another article making you out to be a massively racist scumbag? You would do that for me? But why? As depressing as it is, Ed, you're probably the least problematic candidate. <laughs> My neighbor. Oh, so there it is. He's put out the new story and he's not going to do any more slanderous articles about being not a racist. You know? Oh, well, that's great, Ed. Does that mean that the campaign can get back on track now? Yeah, I think so. You know, uh, as long as nothing else comes out, portraying me as anything other than a narrow minded conservative. I think we're good to go. Oh, that's great, Ed. Oh, by the way, I spent all day putting up your campaign posters. They're going to be seen all over town. Oh, great. What, what code you go for in the end? Well, you said you liked all of them. 